Tammy had in the past bragged that he would not be investigated because of his closeness to those who have the ears of the president. The Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Abdul Rashid Bawa, President Muhammadu Buhari's personal assistant, Sabiu Yusuf Tunde, have been identified as the backers of the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Isa Pantami, amid damning controversies surrounding him. Sahar reporters gathered that Pantami had in the past bragged that he would not be investigated because of his closeness to those who he who have the ears of the presidents. Others are former EFCC boss Nuhu Ribadu and Senate President Ahmad Lawan. Recall Pantami making noise about the future of TSA, Treasury Single Accounts, months back. What people did not know is that we were paid money by the Nigerian Communications Commission for the frequency, so Pantami does not want that money in the TSA and he has created bogus projects and brought his friends to the organization to oversee it so that the milking of the funds can continue. It is unfortunate that the president is being deceived with his fake religiosity, and that is why the MD of Nick Kosmat Nigeria Communications Satellite, Dr. Abimbola Alale, was happy to be leaving as she was scared of the level of his callousness and corruption. A top office, a top source in the Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy told Sahara reporters. Below are some of the protectors who helped him lose his way to paying the Kaba members in the villa and the Senate to bulldoze his way with any document he wants. Bawa of EFCC also and his brother recruited by Pantami, so he has been compensated and compromised. Ahmad Lawa, the Senate President, or soon to be former Senate President, has constantly used the MDAs to pay for his assets, especially the assets seized by EFCC, which he and Malami want to buy, and also as his son requested into one of the MDAs under Pantami. Sabiu Tunde is the master and godfather of Pantami. Hey, hey. Pantami takes almost all proceeds he has looted from the MDAs to him to get all his papers signed with, without the president knowing what he is signed. Malami is also one of them. Another avenue he has is NCC, where Pantami facilitates licenses for him and his brothers. He also takes him to Turkey for medical trips aside, aside from the many looted contracts. A renowned preacher from Bauchi during a sermon last month exposed the fraud of Bantami of using religion and stated how in Bantami's defense an imam came out to say Bantami gave his wife pieces and hundreds of thousands of naira. The pieces were stolen from the government, the ones that Kashifu Inuwa, the NITDA DG diverted via shady project to give to the wives of people Pantami want to bribe. Nihu Ribadu, the former EFCC boss, is now used in EFCC to block everything about Pantami using his people in the agency. He is also the one positioned to lobby the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Metinubu, for Pantami to stay on as a minister so that his looting spree can continue or be appointed as ambassador to Saudi Arabia. In recent days, Pantami has stated that or started dividing himself between the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar and Tinubu's camps. He is trying to see how he can eat his cake and have it. Another source noted that to show his tact and ability to pursue, to purchase the Senate members using Ahmad Lawa and Uba Sani, they now started well, they now started holiday on Thursday, the same day the advert for the public hearing was released. The source added, I mean the hearing of, on the bill for an act to repeal the National Information Technology Development Agency Act number 28, 2007 and enact the National Information Technology Development Agency Act to provide 
for the administration, implementation, and regulation of information technology systems and practices, as well as digital economy in Nigeria for related matters. 2022. The hearing was scheduled on Friday, a day after the adverts. The first reading and second reading are still a mystery. They were not known to so many members and the public. Stakeholders tore into the director of Lega NICDA, who almost cried. Then Patsami told them not to forward the report of the engagement to NAS because he has other strategies which include paying the lawmakers. So he exploited the presidency via his godfather, Sabiu Tunde, to forward it as an executive proposal to NAS through the advice of his allies in the presidency and NAS. It's up to to Sahar reporters last week that the federal lawmakers, senators, and House of Representatives members received bribes in cash and job slots from Pantami to ensure the passage of the controversial bill to repeal and reenact the National Information Technology Development Agency, NITDA. The B6, among others, to empower NITDA to fix licensing and authorization charges, collecting fees and penalties, and issue contravention notices and non-compliance with the acts. The proposed legislation also seeks to establish the National Information Technology Development which Fund, which uh, development fund which shall be funded by a level of 1% of the profits before tax of companies and enterprises with annual turnover of 100 million naira and above. It listed the uh, affected, affected companies pay levies to include mobile and fixed telecommunications companies, information technology companies, gaming companies, and e-commerce companies, foreign digital platforms targeting the Nigerian market, banks, financial institutions, fintech companies, insurance companies, among others. Pantami is not new to controversies. For instance, it was in the views last year over its past call to jihad and unalloyed support for murderous groups like the Taliban and Akida. This jihad is an obligation for every single believer, especially in Nigeria. Pantami was quoted as saying in one of his vicious preaching in the 2000s, saying, oh God, give victory to the Taliban and Akida, he was quoted to have also said. In other video clips that surfaced online, Pantami was also heard as sympathetic to Boko Haram members when delivering sermons at several worship centers in the 2000s. However, Pantami claimed he had renounced his radical comments and said his views had changed over time. He said he had, in the past 15 years, been traversing the country to preach against terrorism. Despite the minister's claim, most Nigerians said he ought to have re resigned due to public backlash and be investigated by the authorities. Should he fail to resign, some commenters said... Some commentators said he ought to be sacked by the president, but the presidency, in glaring support for Pantami, dismissed the possibility of sacking the controversial minister because he had allegedly apologized for his radical views. Recently, the minister embarked on trips so as to list nine countries within one month in complete disregard to President Buhari's directive in a bid to curb leakages and ensure efficiency in the management of public resources. President Buhari in 2019 approved the immediate implementation of additional cost saving measures aimed at instilling financial discipline and prudence, especially as regards official travels. According to a statement issued by the Office of the Secretary of the Government or to the Government of the Federation at the time, all ministries, departments and agencies are now required to submit their yearly travel plans for statutory meeting and engagement to the office of the secretary to the government of the federation or the office of the head of service of the federation for express clearance within the first quarters of the fiscal year before implementation oh my god hmm. we can go on and on and on and on and on and on well, 
One thing is that uh, <clears throat> Ruari doesn't know what is happening. The man is just there as figurehead. Is he, what does he know? He knows nothing. And when I still remember Tinumbu with all this kind of deeds, oh, Tinumbu is a uh, somebody who knows how to strike this. We, we know the three what has been going on in in Lagos. So, are you going to talk about Atiku? <laughs> that one also a master when it comes to all of those kind of a thing. If People always come out to say, oh, Buhari doesn't know what is happening. They are deceiving him because they are deceiving him because he's incompetent. Because they will try to exonerate him from all this corruption. Because they will tell you he doesn't know most of the things. And even if you ask him, he will tell you that he's not aware because of his, you know, gross incompetence. That's just it. Gross incompetence is what is troubling this man. And the ones I've made mention, <laughs> you should know what is happening. And Buhari's a nepotistic attitude is what is causing this pro uh, this country a big problem. And when you look at uh, somebody like Peter B, you know that uh, all of them are aware of what he can do. And that's why, maybe by, by the special grace of God, humanly speaking, and people will try their best anyway, humanly speaking, they will not even want him to be there. They will not even want him to come near because they know that he's a thorough person. He's a man who is, to an extent, honest, and he has the strength and the willpower to do the right thing. You see the corruption going on now. Even where you know at the end of the day what will happen, we all the ones that are even that, that they exposed during Gulag Jonathan's time, what do we see at the end of the day? Nothing. They just pick some few ones to discipline, to use as scapegoats. And some of them have been forgiven. Some of them have been forgiven. They made made melts on on this uh, issue of a. Uh, Arms, the, the Dasuki gates, and what have you. At the end of the day, did you see any tangible thing that they have done? See the, the, uh, the Dasuki who, who was the architect, architect of their own allegation, and what have you. <laughs> Nothing has been done to him. And somebody is telling us they are fighting corruption. This country, the more you look, the less you see. So, guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.